Hi, so I welcome back to my channel. Hope you're doing really well. Today's video is going to be a get ready with me inspired look of how I put together the makeup I've been wearing for the first half of March. So if you would like to see how I put together this look, then keep on watching. Thanks, guys. Alright, first things first, I don't usually mention this, but I forgot to do this before I got started. So I'm gonna just start off with a little bit of moisturizer on this part of my face, the basically my cheeks. So Pull over too much on there on my face down my nose because I mean, I'm a cute as well because those are the two worst defenders. <laughs> so I'm just using this to pretty much give my skin a little, pretty much a drink of water. I'm just using what's just what's left on my fingers and then taking that up to my up to my forehead. Right, so whilst I'm waiting for that soaking, I'm going to go in with a little bit of concealer. Now this one is a new addition to my collection and it is the Rimmel Match Perfection in the colour 005 Ivory. It's the Skin Tone Adapter. So you can see it's a little bit different in my normal concealers where I used to have like the two where I'm having to really go, like really dig right in to get enough, enough product on the applicator. Now this one is kind of interesting because it is a bit of a... This is like a paintbrush, so this one I'll just give it a gentle squeeze. I'm not going to squeeze too much out, and then I'm just going to paint this under my eyes and anywhere else where I feel like I might need to put a bit of concealer. The brush I am using is a expert concealer brush. I'd use different brushes than my foundation brush because I, I tend to go a shade in for the areas that I tend to use the concealer in. I might use that cover a little few of my spots. You probably won't notice it. Take it down my nose, on the corners, and then up to my hairline. Concealer and that I, concealer moisturizer are done and soaked in, so I now need to the only thing I need to do is put my foundation on. Now the foundation I've been using a lot is just another bottle of this which is the Rimmel Bash Perfection in like porcelain. The brush I'm going to use, it's on the floor, just give me a sec. I'm just going to use this sculpting brush by Real Techniques which is, I mentioned this in my last makeup video now, and this will probably be a favourite of 2021 even though we are only on the middle of March so I'm just going to take a little bit on my finger, take the foundation, dab like that because I had this weird thing of just doing it straight on my face and I overdid it a little bit because I'm only keeping this makeup look another natural one today so <laughs> but anyway this is probably all I do <laughs> in my makeup videos just keep it natural you'll probably shout at me <laughs> so I'm just blending that in absolutely love this brush you guys know how much I cannot get enough of this brush Hello Nintendo Switch. I'm gonna do much else with my face. I'm just gonna go into a different blush out of the one I use normally, and it's this, which is a very haggard, very old bourgeois in the shade doesn't see because the writing's rubbed off. Then I'm just using one of the bold metals brushes by Real Techniques. This is the number 300, just a cheek brush that just fits on the apples of my cheeks perfectly. Slightly working this into my face, just focusing this on the outwards of my cheeks just to give it a little bit of a pop. I know you can't get this brush out anymore, but I'll be sure if if you have any suggestions or any jokes that are very similar, let me know because I'd love to see if there is something very similar to this because I was madly in love with this blush. Huh? And I'm going to run out of this at some point. I also think that blusher that I just used there makes me a lot more healthy. So because it's like a nice pop of colour, it's just more like a pink with a slight sheen to it. Like with these little gold speckles in it. So much of my eyebrows, I'm now going to move on to eyes now. I know we are only on the middle of March but the palette I've been absolutely loving a lot in winter and even in spring is this which is the... You've probably guessed it, the Revolution Larger or Maxi Reloaded palette. So I'm going to go in with this shade here called 
none of these have names i'm just going to go in with this almost ice peachy frosted pink i'm just going to wave this all over the lid now we're going to go in with a 217 brush by mac and it is just this domed this flat dome brush that kind of matches the shape of your socket. I'm going to go in with this this matte brown on the corner here. Just tapping a little bit off, and I'm just going to work this kind of in in the crease and pretty much above the crease. This will okay. This this brush will work if you do have hooded or pretty eyes, a bit like what I do. I don't, know. I don't really want to say that my eyes are hooded in case in case they're not. I'm now going to take a little bit of that champagne shade underneath the eye as well to be up in the middle with the brown. I'm not going to do any liner on my on my eyes, so I'm just going to go straight onto mascara. Now this mascara, a lot of this makeup and a lot of new additions to my collection so I'm going to go in with this which is the Clinique High Impact Mascara. This came in a gift set that I got for my last birthday so I'm just going to do a coat of this on my top lashes. I really wishing I'd do a little bit of a first impressions in this video too. Quite a few first impressions of the products I've been using. And then last but by no means least, all I need to do is just a lift. Now, the lipstick that I've been using a lot and absolutely obsessed in this past fortnight is this, which is the Benefit Colour Bomb in the colour Berry 333. So I'm just going to do a light wash of this all over my lips. It's almost very similar to Amorous or Whale by Mac. When I was going through a lot of these lipsticks and I was playing around with my hands of what ones I could use for the photo shoot I've got coming up in the next couple of months, I was like, this is my graduation lipstick. When I looked at this one and Steve fell in love with it, that was it. I'm going to keep that and I'm going to wear that in my photo shoot. The last little bit, this bit is totally optional, I'm going to go in with a little bit of this which is the Rimmel Oh My Gloss in the colour Glossy Cat, so I'm just going to focus this on the centre of my lips. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, please be sure to give this a giant thumbs up and I will see you soon for another video. Bye guys!